Impact Wrestling fans, I'm back once again here to talk Impact Wrestling, here to break down another subject, but before I get into that, I'm going to be talking about Mind for Glory, but before I get into that, as I was saying, I would like to say feel free to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell to be notified of every video that I make. So, we're about to get right on into this. Also, I'd like to say that I was supposed to have the Impact review in, but I went to upload it last week and then all sorts of problems left and right, so... I'll have the Impact review in, the upcoming Impact, I'll have that review in this week. So let's get right down into it. Bound for Glory. Why? Bound for Glory is huge for Impact Wrestling this year. We have the top five reasons, and I'm about to break that down right now. So number five, great storylines. We have to keep the great storylines going on, open up new ones. Look at Bound for Glory this year. Just looking at the Concrete Jungle Delta match, my goodness, that is crazy. LAX versus the OGs. Obviously, this is going to be the end of this feud. And obviously, with storylines, if we have a crazy, fantastic match when which sees LAX look good and have the OGs look good in the result, we have two strong tag teams coming out of that. And we'll be able to move forward with LX versus whomever or the OGs versus whomever to keep up a great storyline going forward. Also, looking at Tessa Blanchard versus Taya Valkyrie, that's another one to where we could keep a storyline going. If we have a fantastic match and Tessa Blanchard wins in a heel way, we could have Tessa Blanchard versus Taya Valkyrie again. So we have quite the a few matches to which I look at and I'm like, okay, this could lead to something great. We can move on to something else great as well. So moving on to number four, the pay-per-view price. It is $39.99 and I know the first thing that some people say is that, oh, well, man, it's not $9.99 like WWE. So I don't know about that one. And you know what? If I'm being honest with myself, they kind of got a point with that. However, this is what Impact Wrestling has to do, and they did a good job of, of it with Slammiversary. They have to prove to people that, look, I know it's $39.99, but it's worth it. We're putting on a phenomenal show, a great show, and you know what? If they're putting on phenomenal shows, then you can't complain about it. WWE has the leeway to put on bad shows because you can look at it and say, well, it's only $9.99. So, I mean, hey, it's $9.99 a month. They're putting on such shows. To which WWE, every now and again, they, they hit it out of the park every now and again. But there are a lot of times where, where I live with WWE pay-per-view and I'm like, oh, man, well, that was bad. But it was just $9.99. With TNA, with Impact Wrestling, excuse me, they put on phenomenal pay-per-views. It's worth $39.99, but you feel like you got your money's worth. And they did a fantastic job with that, with Slammiversary. And just looking at the five matches that we have scheduled now, I think they're going to do a fantastic job with that, with Bound for Glory this year. So, at number three, it is the biggest pay-per-view of the year. And... Obviously, you always want to put on your best stuff for your best pay-per-view. And, you know, that's always the case. But this is different this year because we have a lot more eyes on Impact Wrestling. I'm about to get into that at, for the number one reason as well. So, they have to put on a fantastic matchup. You know, the first thing people are going to say is, this is their WrestleMania. So, let's see what, what it's about. And if you don't put on a great pay-per-view, it's like, oh, this is their WrestleMania? Then, ah, no, I'm out on it. So, moving on to number two, they can't be a one-hit wonder. Now, in my eyes, Impact Wrestling turned the corner at Lucha Underground versus Impact Wrestling. At that pay-per-view, that's when it turned around. But for the greater majority of people in the wrestling community, Impact Wrestling turned around at Slammiversary. So... This is the follow-up to Slammiversary in their eyes. Slammiversary was a phenomenal pay-per-view. People either saw it or heard about it or wrote about it or tweeted about it. They thought it was phenomenal. Everybody thought it was phenomenal. Well, except one person, but I won't go there. Everybody thought it was phenomenal. So everybody's looking at Bound for Glory now and like are saying, you know what? Can they do it again? Or was it, was it a fluke? 
because you know TNA, excuse me, Impact Wrestling, you know Impact Wrestling never gets the benefit of the doubt. So people are going to be looking to tear it down in some way, shape, or form. So if they just knock it out of the park, people won't have anything to say. People won't have anything to say about it being a one-hit wonder or anything like that. So moving on to number one, why Bound for Glory has to deliver for Impact Wrestling this year. New fans. There's a buzz about Impact Wrestling this year. And like I said, it came from Sunversary and there's a ton, a ton, a ton of new fans. Talking about Impact Wrestling ever since Slammiversary, I see it all all up and down my Twitter timeline. Just people that I've never seen watch Impact Wrestling previously before. After Slammiversary, they say, all right, you know what? I'm going to check it out. And now they're hooked into the storylines. And now they're getting invested into the wrestlers. So you cannot have those new fans come out and see the biggest show of the year and have a flop. So I look at the card, as I said before, and I see these five matches, and I think, okay, they're building something special. I think something can go greatly here, depending on what other matches that they add on the card. So you have to hook in those new fans, and you have to put on a phenomenal show. I think that would be go greatly and go tremendously in bringing in other new fans. When people see Bound for Glory, they'll say that, okay, they did some anniversary right. They bound for glory, right? This is not a one-hit wonder. This is for real. So they have to knock this out of the park yet again to reel in new fans, new er fans, and to hook in the new fans that already came in after Slam Anniversary. So that's the top five reasons why Bound for Glory has to deliver this year for Impact Wrestling. Let me know your thoughts down below. What do you think about my top five reasons? What are your reasons? What do you think about Bound for Glory? Why do you think it has to deliver this year? Let me know down below.